Here are my thoughts here on the 2023 Week 1 Sunday NFL Games. Part 3, I'm going to do my final look here after Sunday Night Football. Just going to do one between now and then and Sunday Night Football. And then after Sunday Night Football, what? We may just at the beginning of Sunday Night Football stream, but I forgot all about it. But anyways, Bronco Raiders looked better than Broncos 17 I mean... Jimmy Grout both was three twenty six yards, two touchdowns and reception. And then Wilson was twenty seven thirty four and twenty seven two touchdowns. Both teams are good. And they didn't really have a lot of rushing yards. But they did both teams didn't uh, actually the Brown was a little bit more. Ninety. And they had about sixty, so but they threw a little bit more, so it's about similar yards. Total yards. And they're both penalized a lot. And they're both. Okay, like I was saying here, both teams are pretty even in the pass in the total yards game. Passing one is not much more significantly more. I mean, rushing, yeah, they go a little more. Rushing instead of keeping them honest a little bit. Or, you know. Ruby plays in rushing game, there's more rushes in total. But yeah, we're pretty even in one reception tone. But it didn't really matter at all, you know. They have been deep in like the red zone or something like that. Nothing that affected them or something like that, or I'm not really sure. Do you watch this game? But both teams are pretty even just you know. The Raiders are just going to come out with it. It happens like that, you know? Eagles, like, really saw in the first quarter. They were up 3 nothing. But then I want to say it was 10 nothing off a of interception, 9 nothing off of interception for touchdown. The extra point. And 16 off a. Of, was it a fumble? For touchdown? Do a t offensive touch, short field touch on drive, and then it was. Let's see. Uh, yep. There was. Um, 20. It was 16, I think it was a miss of extra point. There it was. Hurts. It was 22 or 33, 178 touch on. Mac Jones was 35 or 54, 316. Three touchdowns interception. But they didn't really pat throw a lot or pat run a lot. But because they were kind of forced into it from the early start. I mean, to be honest with you, because um with throwing the interception and having a fumble and giving them shh, you know, a touchdown return interception return for a touchdown and just a short field to work with. Um um Touch just on the f fumble, you know, touch on drive, and you know, and then they weren't really scoring a lot, doing a whole lot after the first quarter. They weren't really doing a whole lot, and then the third quarter, they finally got a little something, they got a little something going in the fourth, but not a ton. And then the Patriots got something really going in the second quarter, they figured out the Eagles. Defense, not when the new was offensive. For the Philadelphia offense. You know, they were in defense. So, you know, and then it was an even out. Both teams, you know, knew what they did well. And both teams, you know, knew what the other team did well. You know, you know both teams knew what they had to do in offense. And both teams knew what they had to do in defense. And, you know, it was just, he was got a little bit more. In the same, I mean, obviously they had a two-point cushion, but still. Even if you threw, it was 0-0 at the end of the first half, yeah, you could just go to the second half score. It was 9-6 if you're the Eagles, so. And there it shows, you know. And you know, both teams had pretty, you know, knew what each other did well. And didn't do well on what to exploit. And, you know, both teams just had... 
Yeah. Good game plans to say that. You know, it's more a defense game, man. The Rams beat the CX badly. 30 to 13. <coughs> I just. I got pressing. First game for the CX, but great first game for the Rams. Um, Stafford was 24 of 30, 303 players. Well, Smith, for the CX, was 60 of 26, 100 players, and a touchdown. That's not going to get you in. You know, only throwing 112 yards in a touchdown. It's not going to get you in. Man, Williams, Keelings, that 15 runs, 50 yards only, and two touchdowns. Not a whole lot of runs. But at least they kept him honest, you know. At least they kept the Rams, the uh, six defense, a little bit honest, you know. Because in the second half, you know, they had really. I mean, Smith, you know, a little bit more. Let's see, at 15 for 20, 22 for 29. And three for them. They didn't have, like, the big plays. But they had to keep them honest, you know, they, like, running the football. You know, it was more in the end of the game, you know. Running on time, kind of, too, maybe partially, but still it kept them honest, you know. And they ran, but they never, didn't have a just passing it, so after I get used to just running the football, I'm gonna keep on it too honest, you know. You know, I had to do both, defend for both, you know. And yeah, pretty much even on rushing yards, passing yards, two yards just blew up. Los Angeles Rams just blew up the Seahawks, and and they were and the Rams just ran seven plays to forty six for Seattle. Just Seattle couldn't get no offense. It's going a really inefficient third down two nine, which really hurt him. It really hurt him. Couldn't really get any first down on third down, which you need, you know, which is a big key in this in the NFL, you know, in first downs and third down. So the Miami Dolphins travel to. Los Angeles, California, get a win over the Chargers. Uh, the Miami Dolphins, 36. The Los Angeles Chargers, 34. And it was a great game by both teams. Both teams played really well. You can't really fault either team in this one. You really can't. You know, sometimes it's just how the game how it works out. And, you know, it worked out in favor of Miami. Tua Tungvalu had 28-45 passing, 466 yards, 3 touchdowns and 1 reception. Just Herbert was 23-33 to 28 touchdowns. They're more Los Angeles, more running focused, and Miami is more passive focused, and you can see it here. It showed. You see what Corey does. 11 reception, 11 catches, 250 yards, 2 touchdowns for 3 kill. And see there, Allen for Chargers, 6 for 76. Eckler, you can see right there. 16 for rushes. Or instead, yards, one touchdown. Mm, most hurt. 10 runs. Only 30 seniors to touch on those. are most best rush in terms of yards or touchdowns or however they. Do. Yeah, yeah, most yards, yeah. Got like 6. I'd say got like 70. Yeah, 70 to and there were a lot more like running focused chargers are. But the dolphins are more passing focused. And even though they were just I mean the chargers used the passing game enough to keep them on, keep them almost even dead even honest, but you knew the dolphins were just gonna pass, pass, pass. You shouldn't have to re-kill. You know, the charger the dolphins do. And Waddle. You know, two, you know, good receivers. You know, it's like, why not, you know? And it showed, you know. And then he's got big plays, 11 for 215, 4 for 78. It showed he got big plays, you know, and it really helped, too. And 7.3 yards to run is really 
pretty good. Really good, actually. At 7 yards, the carry an average, you know, when, especially when you get some carries are like, like 1 or 2 yards, you know, still have 7.3 average, which is really good. And both teams played well. It's not a bad loss by the Chargers by any means. It's not a, I mean, it's an impressive, and it's a great win for my own. And that's really all it works out to be, you know. Nothing like. Maybe yeah, I would like to maybe a fumble or interception for that at some point. Especially maybe, but you know, you're still you're fine. You were in it in it at the end, you know. You know, you're just with like you said too little time at the end of the scoring. You know, not get field goal. You know, too little time at the end where you could get like a field goal. You know, so it was like. Mm -hmm. I think the last drive was like with a minute. I want to say it was like not even a minute left in the game. I'm not sure it's where it's at. Yeah, no one for the so they didn't have a good chance, but they just couldn't, you know, go on length of the field. Well, you know, they just couldn't, you know. The Packers. With Jordan Love, their first game of the season, his first regular season game. He played in the preseason, but he didn't get a lot of screens, but not his first game ever. But the third is his, but his first full game in the NFL. And is it is, he, is Jordan Love just that good, or are the Bears just that bad? That's what I want to see because next week Sunday. Next week, two Sunday games in the NFL. That's what I want to see because, um, yeah, that's really what I want to see because, yeah, Jordan Love is a good team. Or Jordan Jordan Love is good. He looked good in preseason, but I mean, and I mean, he looked good in this game, but you know, is it because he looked? Is it because of Pat? Oh, good in this game. Because the Bears look bad, or is it because the Packers are actually good? I also want to see when they play the Falcons. Like, the Falcons didn't have a win today, so they'll have some good, you know, they'll be amped up, you know, excited to play like a, you know, you know, Packers. You know? You know? I'm sure the energy going to be too. So, you know, improve on that, so. And so are the Packers, you know, so it's gonna be interesting, you know, to see. I believe the Packers are not at home that game either. I don't think so. No, they are not, so. Yes, I mean, another tough road test. You know, for the. Not super tough road test, but I'm not. Yeah, we have a good test, you know, to play team as one or no. Had some good momentum in game one. You know, you know. And you know, Justin Fields was twenty four uh so for three six two sixty with the touch on the reception. Just really didn't get um when they were down by so much, they just really didn't have urgency, you know, from the reception list and Packers covered that at some points. And they said, and you know what I mean, they just were, and they just were inefficient on third. I mean, the Bears got more stuff, they were just more first down and stuff. They just weren't super efficient on third down. It's really what hurt them, you know. They got more plays because, like, you know, short field and the fumble and reception, you know, for the points. You know, and stuff, the big plays, stuff like that. And the Packers went all the way up. The Bears kind of late, you know. The Bears got a little bit back in the second half, but he in six, but nothing impressive, you know. Especially when they took it on, um, Ricky Leach in his first and third or fourth course. The Cowboys blew out the Giants here 40 to nothing. It was just an impressive showing by the Dallas Cowboys in this one.
13 of 24, two 143 yards. Danny runs 15 of 20, 100 yards, and at two interceptions. Pollard, 14 carries, 14 rushes. Senior two touchdowns. Berkeley, only 12 rushes, 51 yards. So just the turnovers. It's pretty much just the turnovers for the um, um, Giants really would hurt him. And you can see there is a fumble right there. The Cowboys did have a fumble in the first. They did have a fumble, but and I haven't seen the third, I remember, quarter. But they pretty much, they were able to get, pick it up and gain more yards in the fumble. Like, you know, it's near, like, end zone. And they picked it up and actually went and actually gained more yards than they would have. There's, if it was like, you know, to say the spot of the most, the Cowboys would get the ball right at that spot, you know. They actually gained a few more yards on it. And they were, and then they also, you know, didn't have as many penalties. 6 to 72 really hurt the Giants. I say they backed up more. Not as penalties for the Cowboys. They didn't really, Cowboys really didn't have a lot of yards on their getting 40 zip. There's one of those where, like, the two interceptions. Thrown by Daniel Jones, one from the last play. Giants, you know, really hurt him, you know. Really hurt the Giants. They just gave, like, that was, like, a lot of free points, uh, of turnovers, you know, where they didn't go far. You know, they get, um, quick points, and they, and they didn't. And they made quick work of turnovers. And it really helped them out, you know. Blowing the Giants out 40 nothing, And then there was some rain in the third quarter. There was a good bit of rain. And, after, and, the, and then there was some rain in the fourth quarter of this game. So it was kind of rainy, so they didn't really um, play, um, you know, the best. Because obviously, wet football, you know. And they were already up 26 after the first. Then it was 33, and then there was some rain. So, I mean, the Giants could have came back a little bit and scored a little bit, but, you know, it was kind of raining. And, you know, with wet football and stuff, you know, it's hard to throw you. And that kind of lost the momentum and hard to keep on the ball. So that hurt him a little bit, too. The fumble and the um, Giants fumble and, you know, stuff like that. And just trying to come back, you know. Might no excuses, but, I mean, the first half, they could have at least made it a little bit competitive. You know, if the rain, you know, kind of hurts it into it. I mean, first half, they didn't look competitive at, you know, when there was no rain or nothing, really. And the Cowboys look good, good. You know, the Giants seemed like somewhat competitive in that first half, even. Even if you just threw the second half out, you know. First half, they didn't look competitive at all, so. Kind of disappointing, you know. Game for the really, kind of not, kind of an understatement, like a really disappointing game for the Giants. 40s up in that one. And Monday Night Football Bills Jets. So, at uh, 8.15 Eastern, ABC and ESPN has the main telecast with Joe Buck and Troy, which most people are going to watch. And then there's the main cast on ESPN 2 with P. Manning and Eli Manning. They're going to talk about the game. And they're going to interview people as well during the game. So, until next time, take care. And they're not going to just get interview. I mean, they're interviewing players, like former players, like current former players, like maybe current former coach, maybe some coaches, you know, maybe some, like certain, like other people, like celebrities, like, Media personnel, you know, like for ESPN or other networks, you know, like to cover and you know, talk NFL or cover NFL about the scheme, you know, talk about break down the scheme with them or talk about other stuff, you know. Yeah, so next time, take care.